Hi, I'm Marquise Goodwin, wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. Today we're giving out ice cream as our random act of kickoff. Uh-oh, they look like they want ice cream. They eyeing us. Yeah, keep running. I used to chase it for five blocks. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? How you doing? Y'all look like y'all want some ice cream. Oh, we got the same number? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. What's your favorite subjects? Oh, mine too. For real? So what's uh, 62 times 837? I thought you said math was your favorite subject, man. Come on. Come get some ice cream for the 49ers, man. We're handing out some free ice cream. Ice cream. Hello. Oh, how you doing? Good. I thought you were going to help me finish the, the song. Ice cream. We all scream. Ice cream. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh man. Is this mine? Can I sign it? Can I sign it for you? You want me to sign it? Here, I'll sign it for you. You're welcome. There we go. <laughs> hey, he was turned up. Hey, what's going on? Can I have five? There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Up high. Down low. Too slow. You got to be fast in that. No, you got me. There you go. Number 11 on the field, but number one in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are focused and, you know, ready to put the work in necessary to win. The first thing is the culture. The same purpose and the same goals in mind. Day by day. That starts with your preparation and with everything that you do. It's all team oriented. If we do that every single day, then we'll get to where we're trying to go. Brick. By brick. been coming together well and that starts back in um, the off-season program that we had. Um, we laid the foundation and started learning the plays. Um, everybody put in the work.
we play some really good teams this year. And as long as we communicate and stay on the same page and make the right checks and then just make some plays, I think um, we'll be successful. Thanks for reminding me to run to the ball. Hopefully, I don't have a bunch of lows. I appreciate y'all boys on that. Good practice today. DB's on three. One, two, three. DB's. We're fortunate this year. I think this is my first time I've played the third game on a Sunday. So you actually get to go through the exact schedule, how it's going to be for all 16 games. So I think that makes it a lot more comfortable for our players. They know what to expect, how it's going to be week one versus Carolina. <laughs>Marquise has been awesome, I think. Before we came here and, and kind of joined up together, what I knew about him was he was a track athlete and he was really, really fast. And then you get to know him and you see his work ethic and you see how great he wants to be. And then he starts running these routes that you know you weren't really sure if he'd be able to because fast guys can't always run routes like that. We had this little get together the night before we all signed our contracts here and he came up to me and he's like, hey man, I'm Marquise, I, I can't wait to work with you. We're gonna have a great year. Just to come up and, and say that and genuinely believe it you know, from the moment that he met me, um, has been something special, and I think we've continued to work on that throughout the off season and, and up until now. Team chemistry is one of the main components to winning. I think if you don't know the guys that you're playing with, if you don't know them outside of football, it's going to be very hard to play with them or play for them. to U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Ready to, ready to run wild for a little bit, you know? We got this! 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 I want to see us go out and kick ass. That's what I want to see. I want to set the tone, dog. Fake and end around handoff and Hoyer looking for the deep shot. I was going out into the flat and uh, I'm looking back and I just see Hoyer launches the ball. I run towards the safety. They think it's a run play. And by that time it's a wrap. I don't know who he's on the ball to, and I look over, I see Marquise is just speeding down the field. You stay on your feet flat-footed. I'm running past you every time. And he's got good one down. The end zone touchdown 49ers. Yes. Yeah. We knew it was going to be a touchdown before we called the play. That's why we called it. Marquise Goodwin is the fastest human I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he is. And he makes it look so easy. He's so jealous. Hell yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Minnesota challenging the line of scrimmage. Six or seven guys at the line. Warriors looking to the middle, throws the slant, juggled, caught, held, touchdown 49ers. <laughs> Carlos Hyde. I'm thinking that Brian's not going to throw the ball, and he throws it, and the whole time I'm just thinking in my head, like, dang, this ball's going to get tipped, and then it just comes sailing over, and it's stuck right to my arm, and once I got it, I, was, I knew I was going to the end zone. He stole my second touchdown. I was pretty salty about that. Beathard takes the snap, and he's going to swing one out to Mostert in the left flat to get some yards to the 20. Mostert cuts it back to the 30, runs across Bye. the field. He may go! Down the far side, 50, 40, 30, Goodbye. 20, cut back at the 10, touchdown 49ers. Go ahead, he, go he, come on he, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, better career, better career, let's go, let's go boy, let's go man. Third and what, 22? Third and 22, just a dump off screen pass. And Raheem Mostert says, I want to be on this team. 
Let's go, man! Up the screen, go! Let's get it, man! Hell yeah! So on the final play of regulation, Terrell Newby scores a rush touchdown, and now we're gonna find out what Mike Zimmer, the Minnesota coach, decides to do here. Heineke at the quarterback shotgun, looks, he's looking left, gonna get flushed, gonna try to run it to his right, can he run to the corner? He's gonna run, he's gonna dive, and he's gonna get it. He got the pylon for a two-point conversion, and Minnesota wins the game. Minnesota has come back to win a game that they never led until zeros on the clock, 32 to 31. Overall tonight for the 49ers, the report card would seem to be a much better showing in a first half that was played by the first teamers. I, mean, I was happy with them. Um, I knew it would be a big challenge going against um, a good team. Um, I was happy with the big plays we got on offense, and I thought we did a good job from what I remember just on a couple third downs there early, which allowed us to get on, stay on the field and give us a chance to hit a big play there to, on that first drive. I know with the work we put in every day, and I know how um, – how far we've come, and obviously we got a lot, a long way to go. Because even, you know, with the few good drives that we had tonight, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few missed opportunities we left out there too. So, um, it wasn't a relief because I knew as an offense that's who we were. We just really hadn't had the opportunity to, to you know, get those sustained drives and move the ball down the field and then eventually score. Bring it back, relax, one more time, one more time. Say go, bring it back out, bring it back out, come back out, drive the knee forward. I am the head strength coach, so what we do uh, along with my team and the help with our training staff is we design a program for each player. All right, here we go. High heel, walk 15 yards. Go. We look at what they need to do. We look at their injury history. Uh, our job, our role is to keep them on the field. Turn around, face the fence. Backward run 50, backward run back. Backward run 50, backward run back. We are all uh, working with one goal, and that's just to keep uh, each player on the field healthy and strong as we can through the entire season. Put those turf shoes on. You got four minutes to get them on. We'll start on the hill in about four minutes. We have a 30 degree hill, 20 yards long. Uh, it's about eight yards wide. Um, we'll use it. Uh, it's really at the end of the day, it's another tool we use to, to again, help keep our players on the field healthy, safe. Um, we, we run on it, we crawl, um, we jump on it. Face me, get on the hill, get your body down, all right? About half speed here, backpedaling, about half speed. All right, ready, set, go, all the way to the top. Come through your heels where your power is, keep your body down. Next group, stretching your calves, ankle pumps, Starting on the hill. For the average person who knows nothing about running, if you watch someone run up a hill, you'll see that their body is in, in the correct form to sprint. Um, so that's, that's one aspect of the hill. But it's a lot of fun. It's a great challenge for the players. I'm not sure that they like it very much. Oh, 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 this is a scramble. When you get here, scramble down. Scramble, 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 touch. Back to the second dot. We only working down the middle dot. We only working through the three middle dots. Go get him one square up, one square up, one. It's a great tool, an extension of, of the weight room. Um, and that, that's sort of how we look at it. Get better every day. Niners on three. One, two, three. The last night of August means the last night of preseason football. When September dawns tomorrow, everything will gear towards the season opener. I think the fourth preseason game is, is crucial for a lot of guys. I've seen it you know, with myself, I've seen it every year somewhere, wherever I've been. Someone who's kind of on the bubble and they have a great last week and they have a great last game and they end up making the team. Hey man, hey listen up, listen up. We're going red, all right? Y'all know what time it is. want to see everybody make the team, but it doesn't work out that way. So when you're in this position and in this situation, you have to give everything you've got every play. All right, first down from the Chargers 49. And that ball's picked right through the hands of the Charger receiver and very gladly caught by Asa Jackson. Had a baby, Asa. Good job. 
Beathard dropping back. Pretty good protection. Now stepping up in the pocket to run it. At the 40, the 45. CJ Beathard, can he win a foot race? Unbelievable. I got to be honest with you. I did not know he had that in him. <laughs> but, you, but I just think he's got underrated mobility. I didn't know it was Hey, I'm telling, I'm telling you guys, if you guys block your guys and get in good position and run our feet, we can go to the crib. All right, we can go to the crib. Right Joe, right don't stop. Right Just right run. All right? Let's, Let's, go. Go. Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here's Victor Bolton's going to get a run back here. And Victor Bolton's in the free. And I don't think they're going to get him. No, Victor Bolton, second time to the house in preseason. One, one, one. That's our guy. One, one, one. One, one, one. Yeah. One, one, one. Look at that's another receiver trying to make his claim on special teams, Kendrick Bourne. Good job, Kendrick. Good job, Kendrick. 23-13, the final. 49ers at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Along with all the other NFL teams will be down to a 53-man roster, and there will be some decisions to be made. Good play, Blake. Good job, man. Appreciate it. Here you go, Shane. Good job, man. All right, Juice. Yeah. Carlos. And we're trying to get it down. I know there will be some that happen Saturday. You never can do it all, and a lot of the stuff's going to go into play. Uh, I would love to keep three quarterbacks, and that's going to be a hard debate, um, not about the quarterback position, but how we look at the rest of the roster. You have final say, so if you want I to do, debate. but I don't have final say of keeping 70 people. We have, to, <laughs> we have to figure out how to get it to 53. I've been in this league long enough to know how this thing works, and you know, all you can do, like I said, is just go out there and do do what your coaches and the team expects of you, just to make plays. I'm hoping to. I'm going to get a chance to meet with all of them, all the guys that we decide to let go. I know the people. You know, tomorrow's really a day off for our players. We'll get going again on Saturday. And we're going to bring, we have treatment and stuff. That's all mandatory tomorrow. But we're going to call the guys in who are making the team. I'll get a chance to tell them personally, myself and John. And besides that, I'm not going to do much, any predictions on that. We know that we've brought a, a competitive group of guys that have competed to get where they're at. And that's what we want to see. Are they competing their tails off each and every week? If they do that, I think we're going in the right direction. And uh, we feel like we've assembled a group of guys that will. I don't want our standard to change. And once you do get your final 53, you kind of know what your team is. And um, we're developing on our team right now. But um, when you get to week one and you know that exact 53, um, that's what you go into that season with. It'll change throughout the year, throughout injuries. We will have to battle some adversity. Um, but it's, you know the guys you're going to war with, and uh, I think we'll be ready to start. When I'm in them all, when I'm in, when I'm in the, go and get the camera from. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Which one? I think it's this one right here. Yeah, that one, that one's dope, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Oh, yeah, we got it. We in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tube, tube! <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Tube, tube! Tube! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> brick by brick. Just one more, one more time, just a little bit slower. Brick by brick. Brick. <laughs> By brick. Perfect. Brick by brick. <laughs> I can keep going. <laughs> brick by brick. Brick by brick. Brick. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. Brick.
by brick. Brick by brick!